Hey Facebook, um, we're at Dobson Sustainability Boot again. We are the Energy Group. Uh, as you met us on Monday, we are uh, doing challenges related to the ways we use our energy on a daily basis. Um, I'm Max. I'm Mike. And I'm Jen. So we're going to discuss shortly some of the challenges we've had this week. Um, Jen, would you like to start us off? Sure. Uh, so me and my family chose to do line drying our clothes, as you know. and. Um, Honestly, it's been a little anticlimactic because we oh. um, did all our laundry on Sunday, and I wish I would have chose a different challenge. Oh yeah. But we did, you know, there was some consider. There has been a few learning lessons already. Like yesterday, um, my daughter, she wore her jeans once, and then they were in the dirty laundry. And I'm like, you know, do you, if you want to wear these again later this week. We have to wash, um, you know, we're going to have to line dry it. It's not going to be dry again. I go, are these really dirty, or can you wear them one more time? I mean, it's not like she, they were really dirty. So she's like, oh, I can wear them again. So um, so that was good. It's kind of just changed uh, our mindset a little bit, you know, because we use, like, cloth napkins, too. Sure. And, um, What's Mr. Morse think about it? Uh, no, I think it's good. Mm -hmm. we, we hung up the uh, clothesline today. I posted that video on Facebook. Yeah about how we're choosing a site and mm -hmm. anyway it's, it's, it's been fun uh it's been fun so far i'm really looking forward to the weekend when i have the kids out there or actually we're gonna do laundry tonight so later like tonight i might get some you know how to pin up your clothes the different oh, techniques cool. you know kind of yeah hang, how to hang them up and stuff like that so um a little bit of more thought about uh, what we actually put in the laundry basket at this point, mm -hmm. and so that's been helpful, like the the cloth napkins, yeah. and um, it's like, well, there's a little bit of stuff on this. We could, you know, I always just like throw it in the wash, throw it in the wash, and mm -hmm. now I'm like, well, that's just a little bit. We could probably use that again, yeah. you know, like. <laughs> yeah. So it's just, I don't know. It's right at this point. It's assessing is the item really dirty or not before you put right. it in the. Yeah, I might go laundry. through a couple stains on my jeans before I do the same. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Mike, so. you've been uh, riding your bike. Yep, I've been riding my bike, and you know I've ridden my bike in the past, but usually I have a lot going on in the morning, and so I feel kind of rushed, and I'll just hop in the car. But really, it doesn't take me any more time to ride the bike, and it's just a totally different experience. I love the feeling of the wind in my hair and... <laughs> what? Yeah. Wait, what? And, uh, you know, you're, you're not isolated in this box with closed windows. You're, mm -hmm. You can see things better. You, it's just a much more intimate way to experience the world. And it's very pleasant cruising along on a bike. Uh, you can say hi to people, uh, dodge squirrels, uh, things like that. Um, so, yeah, it's been fun. It's easy. It's, I, I really like it. Is there anything bad about it? Like you have, you know, no, not since I got a, an electric tire pump, so I don't have to Ooh. spend a lot of energy to pump up my tires. I just like pop that bad boy in, and <laughs> they just stand there while it makes noise and yeah. shuts off when it gets to 65 pounds. So. Yeah. I've ridden my bike a couple times, but I always get discouraged because there's these, sometimes a big car will come by, they'll honk at you, they'll put you a little bit closer to the curb, and it's discouraging. I think that's why a lot of people don't. Right. Well, I, for the most part, get to ride on a bike path or sidewalk, oh. so, yeah, we do not have great bike infrastructure in town. It would be better with really some better bike paths. That is that is a hindrance. Yeah. Well, it, but I feel like there's, well, depending on your neighborhood and what streets you have to cross, like, from my neighborhood, there's, I finally found, like, a really good route to get, get from my house to campus without... Um, having to drive down the really busy roads that uh, are more occupied and come to yeah. the back roads. You're in a residential. You've got a lot of residential streets. Yeah. 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 Well, for me, I ride my bike. I, I'm like right next to campus, so my only other problem is hitting other bikers or anything, hitting other <laughs> students. I remember I used to skateboard on campus, and I would lose one friend, possible friend, every single day because, you know, I always have these close encounters with people. Right. I guess that's the other thing is that you have to watch out for. If you happen to show up on campus when it's a class changing time, mm -hmm. that you have to be careful navigating the people because yeah. they may tend to wander. They don't stay in a straight line, so you have to slow down when you go by them right. from behind because yeah. they, don't, they don't know you're there. Yeah. Speaking of annoying people, oh. with, my, <laughs> with, my, with my light challenge, the funnest part has been walking into a room that has people in it and just 
flipping off lights. Like, Max, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> um, we had that like, campus kitchen meeting the other day, and at first I was like uncomfortable with the idea, and then eventually Kensley threw me under the bus. I was like, Max, can you like turn off lights in here or something? So in the middle of the oh, meeting, good for her. I turned off all the lights, and all of a sudden they were having a meeting under one light, and it was a funny experience. We all kind of like were like, acknowledging it for a moment, and we didn't realize how many lights were in the room until they turned them off. Huh. And another funny thing is uh, cooking. So I have a small apartment and light doesn't get around it very well. Oh. And so I have to use an oven light to cook, <laughs> which means that if I want to reach for something in the bread cabinet or in my refrigerator, I have, I, I'm in darkness again. I, I can't turn on another light, and so I find that I'm annoying, anyone I'm cooking with is annoyed because like, they can't find things in my apartment. Because they have to go back, turn on so the light. So are you turning off, off the, the stove light. light when you open up the refrigerator door? Because it has a light yeah. bulb in there, right? Yeah, I do. Are you really? Yeah. Now, are you allowed to use candles? I have been using. I have one candle in my apartment, but it's a small candle, and it, it doesn't do enough. Um, my best benefit actually has been using a lamp. I have a lamp, and there's a like a division in my apartment. Once again, very small apartment, like 300 square feet. So one lamp does actually do a pretty good job. You can and carry it around. No, no, no. So I point, so I pick a spot in the center of my apartment and I just have it pointing up all the time so that way it kind of hits against the wall. It goes out in the middle of the apartment. And that's been working really well and it's a not, lot nicer of a light than the one that comes with, you know, the apartment. And so I'm kind of finding that like having one light is almost comfortable, if not too comfortable, because I want to fall asleep. I want to like go to bed or Oh, on the couch and right. You're of, supposed to, as yeah. opposed to like stimulating your eyeballs and staying mm -hmm. awake later. But yeah, I just find that like I've been noticing it more. Like, I, I haven't realized how many lights I have on just like going to go do a quick chore in the bathroom or whatever. You know, I find that like I put on all these lights and then I go to turn them off. Like with the challenge, I, I hadn't realized how many times I just kept all the lights on. Okay, I got a question for you. So you turn off the light at the campus kitchens meeting, but that was kind of in a um, more of a public space, and so that might have been seen more as okay. But have you gone over to any friends' houses yet, where they have lights on, and you're just like turning their lights off, or yeah. how are you? Yeah, are you? yeah, yeah. How'd that uh, go? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they just keep laughing because they keep reminding me, like Max, make sure we time this right, so I have to turn off the light in the bedroom, in the bedroom, and then I turn off the light in the kitchen or something. And they they just kind of find it like more like a, like a fun challenge. And like they turn on a light without me like being in the other room, and you, and I'd be like, hey, turn off the light, because yeah. I'm about to come in there. Oh, so because I, I can only use one light at a time. But it's more. It's, I found that lamps are really useful because they're in spots of the house, and um, mm. they kind of. Like, I don't know. I can carry those around, and I thought about. I have a headlamp I use for camping sometimes, mm. and that just got annoying. <laughs> so I stopped doing that. But um, it, it's been a funny experience. It's just been interesting to see the lights, um, and how many times I use them, and how many times I'm using them multiple, like in multiple places without needing them. Right. And, and kind of getting it, it's just, it's just about making the commitment and then doing it. It's really not that big a deal. And in fact, there are a lot of benefits to at least for riding a bike. It's just, okay, I'm just going to make sure I ride a bike. And yeah. Yeah, for people taking a challenge, my biggest advice to them is find fun in it. Yeah. Make, make it a little competitive with yourself, you know, see, you know, challenge yourself to do something else. It's just... Yeah, and also I would say for sure like find the fun in it, but also um, be prepare for it ahead of time. That was one thing the food group talked about a bit, like all the food prep that they did or the thought that went into how they purchased their food at the grocery store in plastic or not, and it was interesting. But like also for the biking, because I, um, well I haven't been lately, but I've biked regularly, and it's like you got to have the right equipment for it to be comfortable, like you know. Your headlamp, or your you know your bike light, and your helmet, and well, obviously if they have your tail light, and but like the proper wind gear and stuff, because it was cold this morning. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Well, um, that's all anyway. we got for the energy group. Um, tune in at one o'clock for is it? The um, food group is at one o'clock, and they're going to be filming at their lunch time, so that should be interesting. Yeah. To hear how it's going. Yeah, I wonder what Matt's meal looks like. Vegan, right? Yeah. Ooh. Well, we got a vegan, a vegetarian, and a no added sugar challenges in that group. A really so. Lunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thanks for joining us. I hope to see you again real soon. All right. See you.